So the idea of uh, wireless communications is, of course, quite old. Um, you know, like the, the Marconi system that it could talk all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. And so it would have one system, which was the size of a building, talking to another system, which was the size of a building. And at some point, people realized that's a really useful capability. And so what they would do is they put up uh, a radio system and say in the a high point in the city where everyone would talk to the high point in the city. And so if you like, there was only one cell. Um, so it wasn't cellular in, in any sense. It was just sort of the one thing you would talk to. Uh, but because the sort of data rates you can send is, is a function of how far away you are, the farther the two systems are apart, the harder it is to, to send a signal across. And so you want to have a base station and a third base station and a fourth base station. And then you want to talk to the one that's closest to you. And if you draw a kind of a little boundary between those base stations, then you can sort of look down on it and you see these different little cells uh, of who, you know, who you're supposed to talk to. And the really cool thing uh, that happened during the, uh, the development of cellular systems is that it will automatically switch which base station you're talking to as you move along, you're driving your car. Um, and it's really remarkable that it works as well as it does because it's pretty complicated. So if you go back to like the, the first uh, generation cellular systems, um, those were primarily analog systems, some way of converting voice signals to that. So, but the, the second generation systems uh, really focused on taking your voice, digitizing it, and then sending that as a data, as a data link. As an accident, you could also send data across, but really it was designed to send your voice signal across. And, and that was fine because why would you ever want to send anything other than voice? It's a telephone, right? 